Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another summon video in Destiny Child, and we got the all new brand new event that I believe is new across all of the different servers at the same time. It is the Planet Party event. So this is a, we, we've gotten Planet Party in the past, but this is an all new Planet Party that features the world boss Mars. So we do get Snowfall Mars guaranteed for free just by grinding the event itself. And of course there are two boost childs alongside her uh, that make up the idle group. And that's who we're gonna be going for today. So as you can see, there is a premium pickup summon for each of Aria and Saturn. Of course, they are guaranteed. There is the pity at the 15 multis, but we don't want to we don't have to go that far in. Um, but we do want to go for both of them. They're both boost childs. They're both new. Uh, we're learning a lot about them. They they seem pretty great. And we have obviously the original versions of the characters that that are pretty awesome. And uh, it'd be great to get these idle versions as well. So we'll start things off with Aria, and hope for the best. We'll dive right in. Um, as per usual, we're going to alternate between skipping the multi and going through one at a time. We're going to start things off going through one at a time and uh, and hope we get the idle Aria, not the regular Aria. Now, because it's a premium pickup, if we get any five star, that is guaranteed to be the premium pickup child. So we don't really have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about the off focus. These are going to be 3% banners, so 3% chance of getting either of the idols. Alright, so far... Okay, alright, we're getting a, at least a 4-star on this part. That's not what we want. Oh, no. Well, we're guaranteed at least a 4-star on the last one, and no Davi face. No Davi face. Alright, next multi, we'll skip this one. And of course, if we skip and we do see the Davi face, that does mean we have secured her. So we're going to skip right now. And that's a no-go, unfortunately. We got Jaina and Elysian and some Demeter as well, but uh, not our targets. Not our targets. We'll make, our, we'll make our way through this one, too. Euros. Okay, could this be it? Second multi is not a bad get. Ah, it's Yuna. Ooh, I like Scald. Scald's not bad. Of course, getting as many four stars as possible would be nice too. Could use them technically for House of Reincarnation. Getting any five stars would be nice too, but uh, we are guaranteed to get, if they are going to be a five star, we are guaranteed to get the idols, so don't really have to worry. Oh no. Come on, come on. Ooh, Morgana. Now it is New Year's Day, so, uh, oh, come on. Let's skip the next one. It's Happy New Year to everybody out there who is pulling on the event and grinding the event. Wishing you all the best of luck out there. Unfortunately, this was a bust as well. Okay, next multi. Whew. I think between Arya and Saturn, I have an affinity for Saturn. I just like her a lot. Just generally speaking, I like her design a lot. But uh, our goal is to get both of them today. I definitely do not want to go to the 15 on both. That's not what we want to see. But I have to say, I've been I've been surprisingly lucky in Destiny Child lately. It's been a um, pretty good ride for the last couple of banners. So I'm, I'm kind of due. I'm kind of due for a, for a little bit of... RNG to slap me upside the head here, but we're gonna hope that that's not the case. Come on. Wow, this multi has been all, well, not all three stars, mostly. Alright, come on, come on. Aria? Aria? Oh, god. This is, what is this, multi six? I think thereabouts. We are guaranteed the spa skin then, which again, I think is an excellent consolation prize personally, because I usually go for them. Uh, we're going to get a Lita and a Morgana. Hypnos 2. I always like seeing Lita, so... Whenever she shows up, it's it's always a joy. Right, come on. Can we, can we make this... Make this pain stop from this banner? That'd be great. I want to go over to Saturn. That's a yikes. You really gonna be this way? This is, is this this is how we're starting 2021. 
No, I don't like that. I don't like how that Apollo was gyrating. Atropos. Come on. Oh, Nemesine. Or Nemesine. When are we going to get in a new version of Nemesine? Really going to be like that, huh, Arya? I wonder how popular Arya is, just generally speaking. Because we've gotten multiple versions of Arya in the game. But you would think that uh, she's like really popular, I guess, among the devs? I don't know. Are right, we going to skip this? Oh, no. Jeez. All right, this is this is multi aid. We're over fifty percent the way to the pity, which is not what I was not what I was expecting. Because we've got to get through Saturn too. I think I'm gonna start just skipping the multis because this isn't doing us any good to to wait and sift through these like this. We gotta start ripping this off like a like a band aid. Okay, we're getting a bunch of a bunch of four stars in a row, at least, but that's that's all they are, just four stars. They're not turning into the fives, which is unfortunate. Very, 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 very unfortunate. Come on. Please! What is what is happening? Alright, let's let let's Let's back it up here. Let's claim our mileage. Should I should I swap over? I mean I I, <laughs> I mean it doesn't matter, right? We're we're summoning on both banners for both both units. But let's go in a little bit for Saturn. Let, let's just mix it up. Let's just mix it up. So I think for this one, what, did we skip last one we we sat through, right? Let's go ahead and skip this one. Yikes, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Second one for Saturn. Again, we're 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 letting we're letting the Aria banner cool down a little bit. That's that's what we're doing here. Hoping there's a little bit of a transference of uh of luck. I don't know. Yeah, this is starting to be the, the this is starting to be the Destiny Child rates that I remember. Oh hey Goga. I like Goga. Getting a lot of Morgana, surprisingly enough. Alright, Bale. Okay, Ice Dragon. Now, thankfully, I do have enough to go to the pity for both. I don't... I don't want to do that, but... Kind of forcing my hand here, huh? There's a lot of uh, exci pretty exciting new units to come. Um, I would say in January. I always like seeing Mona. Idun is great too. Yeah, we did get the Lisa's calendar uh, not too long back, so. Some exciting stuff on the horizon. Feels like it has been forever since I've seen that Dobby face. You gotta. I cut me a little bit of slack here. Maybe maybe it was a mistake to move over to the Saturn. Jeez. Well, I hope all of you are getting better better New Year's luck than I am, because this is not looking good. It is nice that I do have the the crystal count to take advantage of it, so it's not not the end of the world. Certainly, I've been saving up, and because I had some pretty decent luck on the last banner, uh, we were basically able to stock up even more. So we're kind of dipping into that reserve right now. The bad luck reserve from the last banner into this one. And we need it, apparently. Apparently we need it. Uh, so this one, I think, um, I'm pretty sure this guarantees us the Saturn Spaskin as well. I haven't checked out the Spaskin, so I don't know how they are. But at least we're guaranteed them, which is nice. Okay. Well, they're really going to make me work for it. I think at this point, what are we... Like a hundred, hundred ten pulls in, and not a single five star. Yeah, I guess that's about right. It'd be great if, jeez. Oh, I think I think you owe me a two and one at this point, game. Like you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that, I'm not telling you how to do your job or anything, but 
<laughs> okay. I meant two five stars, not two hypnoses in a row. Please, Davi face. There we go. Thank God, Davi. A little late to the party, huh? As far as the New Year's party is concerned. We are getting the Dawn Saturn here. Forget about your sad past and look up. Your future's as clear and bright as the sky above. Saturn always delivers. Uh, her design is always great in every incarnation, so... Glad to have her. And now we can walk away from the Saturn banner. Thankfully. Uh, and go back to the Aria one that hurt us so gravely. Uh, Saturn actually... Uh, um, ended up cooperating more than Aria, as she tends to. So now, back to Aria. Brilliant Aria, it says. If you wouldn't mind being brilliant and showing up in my box, that would be appreciated. We'll skip this one. There we go, and skip. Oh, jeez. Frisia. Frisia is always nice to see back into it. Uh, at this point, what do we got? I think we only need like five more before we hit the pity. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that, but we'll uh, take this one a step at a time. Come on now. Don't be too shy. You're an idol. You can't afford to be shy. You gotta sing and dance and strut your stuff, right? Oh, man. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough going. Okay, here's the here's the here. Get it. Oh, come on. A more. I need I need you to move a more. Oh, hey, Tisiphone. Always like seeing Tisiphone. That's another one that I would like to get another version of. Tisiphone is great, I think. All right. Come on, Arya. I'm not messing around anymore. We gotta we gotta. I don't have time for this. Oh God. Hey, we got another Lita. Lita and Jaina. That's it. the Aria banner seems to always be Lita and Jaina. All right, we've only got three multis left on, on Aria before we hit the pity. So it seems like that's going to be how it's going to be. Um, I think actually, if we get her on the 14th multi, that's kind of bad because the 15th multi I think gets you another copy, if I'm not mistaken. Let's skip. Jeez. There's another Morgana and Atropos. All right. So we don't want to see her on this multi, is what I'm getting at. Because if we see her on this multi, we actually lose out, I think, on some bonus stuff. Okay, and we get her on this multi, of course. Well, Happy New Year to you too, Destiny Child. Alright. <laughs> there she is. We are getting an Aria. Unfortunately, not a 2-in-1, so it is the only Aria that we get. But, uh, but we got her. We got her, that's great. If we keep trying, there's no stage we can't conquer. Uh, except my crystal count, apparently, because we had to dip pretty hard on that one. Uh, but you know what? It's fine. 30, 40,000 crystals, that's that's something we can make up in time, so that's not a it's not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and collect our spa skins and everything else. All right, where are we? Where are we? Okay, premium pickup limited summon. Yeah, so we are getting, we're getting some crystals back. That's always appreciated, and the spa skin as well. So this is the Aria spa skin. Uh, it's not even animated, is it? Or maybe they just don't show it in the preview. I can't remember. Uh, but let's go ahead and redeem. Let's let's receive it. Uh, we got an extra copy, so that's some extra uh, familiarity, which is kind of nice. Yeah, you see what I mean? So we would have gotten, I think, an extra copy. Yeah, we would have gotten an extra copy of her if we went to the 15. So we actually just, like, just missed out on that, which is very unfortunate. And then, of course, we're going to get the Saturn Spa skin as well. All right, so let's collect. And then we'll showcase them along with uh, the characters right about now. So here's Brilliant Aria. She is going to be a light attacker. Let's take a look at some of her skills. Slide skill, three random enemies. Uh, world bosses, increase skill damage, plus 20% on self for 16 seconds. Leader buff, slide skill damage, plus 15% for all light allies. And the world boss, slide skill, plus 20% for light time allies. So that's that's pretty good. Gives us a cute little wink as an idol. It's, it's, it's cute. It is cute. Let's take a look at her drive skill preview. Aria for all. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like it. All right, we've got Dawn Saturn here as well. She's striking a pose. It's actually pretty dynamic. It, it's like she's on stage doing 
a performance. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. So she is going to be a light supporter. Makes a lot of sense, since Mars is going to be a dark world boss. Um, damage to two random enemies, double-edged sword to five light type enemies for 16 seconds. That's not bad. World bosses, drive gauge plus 20 for up to nine light type allies. Really? So she's going to be a pretty strong world boss addition for, uh, specifically for light allies. Uh, Shining Stage, that is, for World Balls only, increased tap damage plus 60% for three light allies. So the, the two of them together will buff both light slide attackers and tap attackers, which is pretty nice. Uh, drive Gauge, charge amount plus 15% for light type allies. Okay, alright. Let's take a look at her Drive Skill Preview. Shining Stage. That's nice. So just like Arya, it's going to be like a silhouette and then leading into kind of the reveal of them strutting a pose. And then here is Shiny Mars, of course, who is the world boss as well. We'll just take a quick look. Very nice, showing off her steps. That's pretty great. Uh, she's going to be a dark attacker. What do we got? Um, okay, so the slide is a three hit. Uh, inflicts necrosis. 150 damage over time. Unable to cut or extend debuff for 14 seconds. More damage over time stacking is not a bad thing. So that could be really useful. Um, inflicts necrosis. So her her uh, her drive does as well. And then slide skill final blow plus 18% for, for dark type allies. Okay, alright. Let's see your drive skill preview. Only one star. Yeah, and, and it's going to be the same format as every, all of the other idols, the silhouette into into pose. All right, not bad, not not bad. And I'll just take this quick opportunity to show the current team that I'm running in the Snowfall Mars World Boss. This is the team composition, work in progress, obviously. A lot of the units aren't maxed like the two new boost trials that I got, but I do, of course, want to take advantage of the total reward bonus that we get, the 120% uh, total reward. Um, but on average, this team does about seven to eight million damage could definitely be optimized further, has a lot of the staples of World Boss that you would expect, like Pantheon, like Midas, you got Mott there, Thetis, as well as Mars, you got Bathory, uh, both of the Monas, and as far as the light support is concerned, we brought along Seatree, of course, Light Mona, Luna, as well as the brand new Saturn, um, Attackers, we brought the, uh, most, the recent Attacker, Light Saturn, as well as the Hilders, we've got Mofted in there, we've got Arya, it's difficult to strike the balance between survivability and damage on this one. Mars does hit pretty hard, do the amount of damage that you can, while at the same time uh, mitigating the amount of damage that your front row takes. But yeah, so this is the team that I'm currently running. As you can see, the drive order, uh, I just have Sun Beach Mona first just to inflict the, the Scald and the debuff. Then I've got Luna to increase the damage of the back row. And then I've got Saturn for the third, just before the fever time to take advantage of um, she basically chooses five of the light attackers and then rotates them as opposed to the entire crew, the entire team, um, to help optimize your fever time damage. Alright, so that's going to do it. Um, let me know in the comments below how you did if you ended up summoning for either Idle Aria or Idle Saturn. Hopefully you got all of the copies and dupes that you needed for uncapping, uh, but let me know how the summons went for you. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Destiny Child content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. Certainly hoping you're all staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there, and wishing the very, very best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's keep on slacking.